Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. WTF is Loadout. Loadout is a free-to-play shooter, a forthcoming free-to-play shooter, currently in beta, from a company called Edge of Reality. You probably haven't heard of them, and that's probably for the best, because their past history is checkered. It's not that they made bad games per se, it's that they're one of those studios that's kind of been laden with the unfortunate duty of producing licensed crap like Over the Hedge and Shark Tale. Stuff like that. But they're making a PC game, and this one happens to be a free-to-play shooter. Yay, another free-to-play shooter. Why should I care? This is why you should care. So the big feature of this game is the ability to create weapons from a wide variety of different components. Let us make a new weapon. So what can you customize? Well, quite a lot, as you can see. All of these can be changed. You can also change the projectiles and things like that. What really interests me is the fact that there's a random button. There is a random button. Let's look through some of the customization options and then we'll try some of this in game. As you can see here, you've got a choice of stocks. That's supposed to allow you to unlock a bunch of these throughout the game. That's going to be their free to play model. You can pop that out just to get the exact same information as you would have gotten previously, which is kind of weird. They do have a, a nice comparison. It would be nice if it was numerical rather than these bars. I mean, what do these bars mean? What are they relative to exactly? You, you do get a, some kind of comparison, but it's not accurate. I like numbers. I like the way Blacklight does it. Trigger. Semi-auto, full auto, spooling trigger, two round burst, three round burst. All of these are available, and they even muck with the stats once again. Like to see numbers there. Scopes, iron sights, recon scope, optical zoom, long range scope. Projectiles. This is what interests me, the fact that there's more stuff here. Can I have more than one type of ammo in my gun? Because if I were able to mix lightning with fire, then suddenly I'd be very interested. At the moment, of course, this is in beta, so it does have a limited numbers, but slug, tesla, pyro, health, the juice. All sorts of different things. Change your magazine. This is quite nice. Like you could, I could change this rifle to actually fire shells like that. There you go, this now fires shells, but it's much, much more damaging. Change the barrel. Fires shells, but it's also a Gatling barrel. Is that smart? No, no, not really. That's how you burn through everything very quickly. Or maybe I could just make it a scatter barrel, just turn it into a blunderbuss of sorts, or a sniper barrel. Then, of course, you might want to change the magazine to bolt action, but no, maybe I like firing shells. Or maybe I like a, a high capacity on a sniper. Maybe I like those things, and the game lets you do that. This is kind of crazy, honestly. Kind of crazy, and it is probably one of the best ideas that I've seen in a very long time for free-to-play shooters. This takes the whole weapon customization to a very silly place, and I like that. I like silly places. So let's randomize a weapon. I'm going to go and try this in the test range. All right, so as you can see, it is actually a third-person shooter rather than an FPS which is a little unusual. Now, that's not what I want to do. You can double tap to dodge, which is always nice to see, and this is what the weapon actually does. It has a two-round burst, and it sets people on fire. That is its purpose. Very Borderlandsy in terms of the damage numbers that are coming out of there, certainly, but this is a competitive shooter. This is versus. There's no co-op involved in this whatsoever. Uh, that weapon's okay, but let's return to weapon crafting and randomize a new one. Let's have a look at this one. A rifle with a recon scope, firing health, semi-automatic with a narrow edition scatter barrel. What does that do? Well, it's got a weird kind of ranged sniper AOE heal on it. Because, well, why the hell not? Bizarre. Thoroughly bizarre weapon. Let's try again. Roll it up. A health launcher with ultraviolet laser guidance and a... Wow, you can even have different barrels for... What's that quad barrel? Penta barrel? Hey. Oh my god. I want to have its babies. <laughs> this is quite something. Wow, you can even... I could actually lock onto a fast-moving target with a heal. What? Just get... Yeah, but almost. <laughs> Whoa. So, this is some of the craziest weapon customization I've ever seen. 
It's like Borderlands level weapon customization, only it actually lets you customize. It's not random, unless, of course, you want it to be. But the question is, how does it perform in-game? Well, that is a good question. I'm going to do this the way a man would do it. We're going to randomize some weapons, and we're going to stick with whatever it gives us. Okay, so I'm going to close my eyes, and I'm going to click randomize five times. When I get to the fifth one, that is the weapon I will be using. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's unfortunate. That looks to be a health rifle. Okay, fine. We shall name it the Evil Beezle. Excellent. Now, I would assume that you can probably put that into a loadout. As you can see, you can have two weapons, so... Which shall we shot? Let's swap this out. The Evil Beezle. There we go. Now, I do need a secondary weapon, preferably one that actually does some damage, so let's go back to the weapon crafting. What do we got? All right. A new weapon. We shall randomize it five times and make sure that... Whoa, ho hello. Oh, interesting. Now, this I didn't notice, so apparently these are modifiers. My god. That's a lot of crazy stuff. All right. Interesting. Okay, let's randomize it up. So I got my health rifle. I'm going to click it five times once again. One, two, three, four, five. It is a slug beam spooling gatling sniper rifle. With dampening... I don't even know. But you know what? We're having it. We're having it. And we shall name it... Le Grand Honker. Wonderful. And that crashed the game. Apparently, that weapon was too awesome for mortal hands. Let's try again. All right, we're randoming it up once again then. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we can't have that one because I then have nothing I can do damage with, so... Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five. That's a health rifle. No. One, two, three, four, five. God damn it with the health rocket launcher. One, two, three, four, five. This works. There we go. It appears to be a high-capacity sniper rifle with standard Tesla ammo, but it's using a pulse chassis. Shoots fast-moving pulses, reloads with clips. Let's test it out and see what it does. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I could probably use that. All right. We shall name it once again and hope that it doesn't crash. Le... No, stop that. Le Grand Honker. Please don't break. Excellent. Let us edit those loadouts. Like the man that I am, we have picked the random weapons. Excellent. Okay. Now let's play the game and see if it's actually any good. Ooh, there's also grenades. And a whole bunch of other stuff by the looks of it. Lots of stuff is locked, though, so... We're sticking with a basic hand grenade for the moment. All right. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, playlists. God. And there's barely anyone playing whatsoever. In fact, it's not even letting me select anything. Needless to say, there we go. Okay, let's see if I can actually get into the game. Looks like I can. Wonderful. There are very few people playing this beta right now. Very few. But we shall give it a shot. All right. So this is the first time that I have played Loadout against anybody else. This is a true first impressions without question. As soon as I saw the weapon crafting system, I thought to myself, Oh god, I have got to try this out. We'll have a look at stuff like the options menu later. Right now, I just want to shoot things. Okay, so is this my healing rifle? What happened? Why, why has he got my hammer? Can I have it back, please? That would be nice. Okay, so I can shoot people to heal them with this rifle. And then I have this weapon... Your team has taken the hammer. Excellent. We have the hammer. That's great. I The hammer in the morning, the hammer in the evening. Can we actually find the guy that has our hammer, more to the point? Yes, there are very, very few people currently playing this, which, you know, is not particularly unsurprising, and it's... Let's have a look. There we go. Oop! So you can dodge around the place, as you can see. Movement's a little bit floaty at the moment, so I mean, they might have to... What the hell weapon was that? Here, have some of my Tesla thingy. Excellent. 
Uh-oh, uh-oh. All is fine, there we go. Now this game is apparently somewhat crude to the point where there is a nudity option. I had- I'm not even gonna ask how that works, and ooh, I could grab his weapon. What's this? It appears to be some kind of mine-laying cluster grenade launcher. Saw him over there, let's go get him. Yeah, I'm not really sure why you would want to see- Bollocks. <laughs> Will I scream, really? I'm not really sure why you'd want to see nudity in a game like this, honestly. The, currently the only character is someone that very much looks like the lead from Machete. Or Machete, which, however you prefer to pronounce it. I can't even remember his name, and that actually makes me sad. I, I shouldn't not know his name. This is the healing gun. Stop shooting him with that. Here, have some Tesla. Get back here. Oh, that was a lot of grenades. Okay. I am horribly on fire. Oh, saved his ass. Saved his ass. And got blown up because no one else wanted to do that. Uh, the murder cam. Very nice. Well, it's pretty enjoyable thus far. It's a fairly interesting third-person shooter, and everyone's trying to kill me already. Great start. Great start of the day. Uah! And horribly on fire is definitely not helping me in this situation. There is no crazy cover system or anything along those... L ouch. Anything along those lines. It's just a straight-up third-person shooter that relies on your aiming skill and the dodging. Of course, it is carried by the whole loadout system, and... I think that you can make a, a really solid game and then you throw something like that into the mix and then suddenly it becomes a hell of a lot more interesting. Where'd he go? I shall equip the evil Beezle and heal you, good sir. No! Okay, I will not do that because he has a crazy-ass grenade rocket bastard launcher. Come on. Have some grenades. Oh yeah. Sit down. I can't actually see his health until I start shooting him, which is a little irritating. It's very stylish, though. I love the way that the UI is presented. That's very, very nice indeed. Stay alive, damn it. Stay alive. I saved your ass. Avenge me, Duran Vega. Avenge me. I'm thinking of the utility of a healing sniper rifle here. What I'm glad to see is that they went to 11 with this, even from the very start. They said, you know, we've got to have, our game's got to be stupid. It's got to be absolutely stupid in every respect. We've got to allow for some ridiculous weapon designs. The whole random thing is great. You could build an entire game type around that that would be hilarious fun, where it randomizes you a new weapon every time you respawn. That would be crazy. Then you'd have people stealing each other's weapons when someone got a good gun spawn. You would have a really great random element to play with friends. That's something that I would definitely approve of. Something they should certainly consider. Hopefully they'll do a playlist or whatever. Unfortunately, there aren't all that many players to test the game on at the moment, but the loadout system in and of itself seems interesting enough to warrant paying attention to the game just because of how insane it is. I love the fact that they did that. I really, really did. It's interesting that they choose third person rather than first person shooter as well. I think in this case, it probably works pretty well because you get a more arcadey feel. The, the way that the movement works and the way that dodging works in this game is quite enjoyable. Did I hit him with it? Yes, I did. Ooh, let's get away from that crap. <laughs> I don't think my gun is very good. I think maybe I may have made some mistakes in the design process. Oh, very unpleasant. Also, the game's missing music as well. We definitely need some music in the background. Something cheesy and metal would be great. I think we need some butt rock going on in this particular title. I'm undoubtedly interested now, though. This this game has got me interested in what it has to offer because of that loadout system. I think there's a ton of potential there to make for a crazy game that just doesn't give a damn. That would be wonderful. Hopefully, that's what we can get. 
I think that seems to be an experience bar down the bottom. Can, can we not have the experience bar do, be displayed like that? God, it just gives me these horrible flashbacks, post-traumatic stress disorder from World of Warcraft. Please don't use the healing gun! Come on. Ow! That was my leg. <laughs> I love the, the various death animations are actually quite hilarious. People explode, their limbs come off, holes in their stomachs, everything like that. Game looks good. It's got a really nice graphic style to it. Nice and cartoony, but still particularly bloody. And this weapon sucks. <laughs> Ooh, where's the health? Oh, apparently the health was there. Never mind. Also, is it just me or is the health bar not actually accurately displaying my health? I saw it's stuck on 200 there. Intriguing. Oh well. Where'd he go? <laughs> this weapon is awful. <laughs> I need to random up another gun. Your team has dropped the hammer. Team's hammer has but then of course, what on earth is the point? The Where is the fun in it if you're not willing to take on a stupid it's weapon? The it's a lot of customization now. I think obviously they also need to look into the idea of customizing your character that's currently not in the this version of the beta yet customizing your weapon with various tags and skins and cosmetic stuff would definitely be something that i would approve i think that's an absolutely fantastic idea something that they really need to do and no doubt they're aware of that and then of course you can properly monetize your free-to-play model with cosmetic items as a result if you're gonna create a highly stylized shooter then you can sell all sorts of cosmetic customizations. The risk, of course, is that you start selling weapon parts and it becomes you have taken the hammer. prohibitive to actually... Can I hit someone with this? Oh, wow, I actually can. Pretty hard as well. Wow, you can hit someone with the flag. Okay, that's not something I've seen in a long time, I've got to say. The risk with the business model is that you end up in a situation where you are selling the good gun parts and it essentially becomes buying power. I think that that is something you need to avoid doing. And if you were to go for the kind of Gotham City imposters route, then that works much better. Just allow you to unlock pretty much every part in the game every time you get an unlock token or whatever. As far as I'm concerned, that's the best way to do things. There are, of course, wrong ways to do it. I think that maybe the way that... Blacklight does it with its parts is a little excessive. It takes a little bit too long to get each part. You can rent guns, which is great, but they, the gun parts also cost too much. I mean, you're looking for like th 4 to $8 for a scope, and God, this game is... This gun is terrible. I might actually select one of the default loadouts instead. Tesla shotgun and sniper rifle. That sounds reasonable. Let's give that a shot. I do not trust the evil Beazle and the Grand Honker anymore. That's just the way of it. Have some of that. Yeah, there you go. I'll have it. Oh, God. <laughs> some crazy nonsense going on with these swarm missile launches and everything like that. I would be very surprised if they managed to balance everything. I mean, launchers at the moment seem really, really powerful with the amount of damage they can do, but you never know. I mean, this is very early in beta, and I don't think you need to 100% balance a game like this, because if you have enough choices, then the game almost kind of balances itself around how ludicrous it is. You still have to obviously balance it to some degree, but you don't have to worry as much as you would in a more competitive shooter. I never get why people ask me that question. It's like a faker would tell you that he was real. So what reason do you actually have to trust in what I say? Never really figured that one out. Whoa, ho, hello. But we'll see how this develops. Hopefully it will work out well. I would like to see proper stuff like dedicated servers rather than playlists and console-like nonsense like that. That's something that we don't really need on PC. You can have a look at the options menu. It's pretty limited at the moment. You can change your resolution aspect ratio, you can show frame rate, and that really is about it. You can enable or disable nudity, just in case you don't want to see cartoon penis. And there is no FOV option or anything like that, and that's obviously pretty damn limited. You can edit your controls, which is nice, but please bear in mind that this is a very, very early beta version, and there is a lot of development to be done on it. Regardless, as a result of the ridiculous weapon customization system and the rather nice aesthetic and the amount of character and personality that this game actually has, I think it's definitely worth a try and a game that you should be keeping an eye out for. It's a bunch of fun, 
and I've never seen anything quite like that in terms of weapon customization. That's nuts, and nuts in a really good way. I've been waiting for a game to go completely and totally off the rails in that respect, and, well, it turns out that this looks to be that kind of game, so... Well, my guns suck, that much is clear, and it looks like we're playing against devs or something, but hey, we'll go with it. My name has been Total Biscuit, taking a look at Loadout in its current form. Website is in the description below this video if you wish to sign up for the beta. I'll see you next time.